All right, mid-season Wonderland 6 review. Um, so far, we're pretty happy with it. It's held up in the wind great, uh, thanks to utilizing all the guy line points. Um, no, pen, no poles have really been bent out of shape. Um, it's, it's stayed fairly warm. I think we need a heater. We dropped down into the forties last night and it was, it was pretty chilly, especially with the baby. So I would definitely advise a heater for a tent this big. Um, and then utilize all your guy line points. We've, we've been in some really high wind situations. It's just, it's nice peace of mind. Um, so I definitely, definitely make sure you utilize those points even if it's not windy because it just takes one rogue wind to ruin your day um this is the side without the mudroom it's somewhat sheltered um we had rain the first night we stayed dry um the only spots that we really had water come in um not the night that it rained here but if it gets windy it can mist up into here into that mesh um if you look on the side here, you see we've got these, like, this mesh here. Um, we have had it come into the corner there, but just a spray, nothing bad. And then that little tabby right there, uh, the thing, it wicks water, and then it wicks into the inside of the tent. So I've got to get some, like, wax or something and just treat that so it doesn't wick into the uh, tent. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff on the outside. Mud room. I don't know. Some days we use it, some days we don't. If it's going to be really windy, we don't really bother with it. Um, we've got a canopy tent that we use for shade, so it's not that big of a deal. But for the rain, it's really nice to have this, like, dry area, like a staging area almost. Um, inside of the tent... Tons of room for us because we're two people and a baby and a dog. So fits our double bed, little dog bed, and our pack and play. Really nice. I highly suggest getting a fan for your tent if you haven't already. That's been an absolute game changer, especially with the heat in here during the day. Uh, this tent does bake. Um, one follow-up. So this pole did get a little, got a little asymmetrical bend in it again. Um, I'm not going to return it. I'm just going to keep my eye on it. Um, probably get some reserve poles from technical tent poles. Um, and just have those on hand in case this pole does snap. But <clears throat> I, I don't know. That, that bent about three trips ago. It hasn't really been a problem since, and it seems like all the other poles are kind of starting to take their form and shape as well. So I think it's just part of the design. Um, it's not like they come from the factory bent, but I think just overall, as the tent gets set up more and more and it kind of breaks in, um, the poles just kind of break in with it. So yeah, that's... Uh, pretty much it um nothing else we're pretty satisfied with it i think we'll be keeping this tent we've got some friends with the waywona um i don't know if they're i can't get them side by side so i can't do a comparison but this is definitely smaller um i would say that the footprint of this tent with its vestibule is about the same as our tent without our mudroom um so if space is kind of an issue, I would probably go with a Waywona, but dispersed camping, we haven't had, we haven't had any issues. We usually find a pretty flat spot, even if we've got a setup in like the turnaround or something like they did. So, but yeah, that's uh, the review of the Wonderland 6. Have a good day, everybody.